State Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson says Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz's suspicions were right about the alleged bonuses Adeloop employees received last year. In an opinion released last Thursday, the AG says the one-time payouts were processed as retroactive pay, which is prohibited by law. We spoke with the governor's chief policy advisor, Arthur Clark, who explains how it happened and how they're going to solve the problem. It's uh, regrettable that, again, it was, uh, you know, the intent was there, but the execution uh, came up short. Governor Eddie Calvo's chief policy advisor, Arthur Clark, says the intent was for 107 employees of the governor and the lieutenant governor's office to receive bonuses all along. But because Guam law prohibits these unclassified employees from receiving retroactive pay, he says they had to work a way around it by way of one-time payouts. So the instructions were sent to the fiscal team for the Department of Administration to process. It was always understood uh, that we were not trying to make this retroactive because we knew what the, the legal limitations were. But that they that their computer they had computer software limitations. Their accounting program had some limitations, and so in order for them to calculate the pay adjustments, mm -hmm. they needed to enter a retroactive date. Mm -hmm. So that came to our attention after it was done and the checks were issued. Clark says he personally met with DOA and the governor's fiscal team to figure out how the error was made. And so we were kind of stuck and so what happened was uh, after that in order to document that this was kind of a software issue and not the original intent that there was never an intent to make a retroactive mm -hmm. the governor is issued a memo which was released earlier which is a December 31st memo. Mm -hmm. Now we thought the memo clarified the issue. Apparently, that memo wasn't enough. Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson, in an opinion she issued at the request of Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz, said, quote, It is my opinion that the salary adjustments from January 26, 2014 to December 15, 2014, represent retroactive compensation for each individual employee in violation of Guam's anti-retroactive payment statutes. And so... This is really just a kind of a, a, technical. a technical error. So her advice was, uh, and the governor is, it, it, you know, recognizes her authority as the chief legal officer, he's following her advice, was those, those pay adjustments need to be returned. And they were returned. Clark says for the employees who are still at Adeloop, the solution is simple. The governor's office will reissue those employees' checks, process the correct way this time, and the employees will then sign those checks back over to DOA. So what about those employees who have since left Adeloop? Clark says there are about 40 of them. So we cannot issue to them, uh, you know, these, the, the re, we cannot reissue the compensation to them because they're not here. Clark says they've identified about three to four different options to repay these former employees their bonuses, including possible legislative action as suggested by the AG's office. We're going to pursue all of them, one of them, whatever, until, you know, we make sure that they're made whole and they're not going to be stuck with you know, the fact that they have to reimburse the money and then wondering what's going to happen. The governor's uh, uh, entire outlook on this is, you know, they were part of the team that was here when, uh, you know, the governor helped to turn around the, the government finances. And so they're really the ones who, you know, deserve to be recognized for all the hard work. The attorney general said on the K-57 breakfast show with Ray Gibson this morning that although she wouldn't choose that method for reprocessing of the checks, there is nothing illegal about it.